What's up guys and gals, Ligans here, and today we'll be choosing our house, our Patronus, and my wand. So if you didn't know, Hogwarts Legacy is allowing you to connect your uh, Wizarding World account to, well, the game. And if you do, you get the Speak Skull Mask and some special uh, school outfit that matches your house. Now, whatever house... Uh, Patronus and one I get here is what I'm getting or is what I'm going to do in the game uh, on uh, February 10th and if you haven't seen the trailers the the school rolls look all fancy and junk that has the the badger the snake the eagle and the lion on the back it has impressive colors it's all fancy looking so you know I thought it'd be nice to mix it up and I hope to see you all on February 10th. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, here I am. I just made up a picture. Don't laugh, I know it's stupid looking, but I had to do it to see complete one of the four. And I just made up the last name, because, you know, whatever. I ain't gonna put my real name. You can't figure me out. Um, anyway, I just, you know... Uh, let's start with our house. Discover your Hogwarts house. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. Alright, let's get sorted. Uh, moon or stars? Let's go with moon. Uh, if you could have any power, which one... Oh, I'm sorry, which would you choose? The power to read minds. Hmm... The power to change the past? No. The power of in invisibility? I don't know, maybe. Uh, the power to talk to... The, the power to speak to animals? Maybe, yes, maybe. I, I do like animals. Um, the power of superhuman strength? Eh. And the power to change your appearance at will? Um, let's see. I would either do, hmm, I'm going to go with the speak to animals, because I'd rather speak to animals and read minds, because that's I don't know if I can, like, turn that on and off. It's going to be real bothersome if I, you know, I have to hear every thought in, like, a mile radius. So let's go with the speak to animals. Um, if you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Cats, toads, or owls? Um, hmm, cats. I don't want no toads, so either they are cats or owls. I'll probably do, hmm, let's do owls, because I can send letters and junk. I know I can cuddle up with the cat, but let's do an owl. I always wanted a bird for some reason. So we got a barn owl, a tawny owl, a snowy owl. Screech Owl, or a Brown Owl. Um, I would probably do the Screech Owl. It looks pretty cool, intimidating. You won't, you won't want to mess with that owl, would you? No, you wouldn't. All right. Um, which of the following would you most hate people to call you? Ignorant, selfish, ordinary, cowardly. Oh, that was the last one. Um, well, I don't like any any of these. Uh, if I had to choose, I would probably go with uh, ignorance. Yes. You and two friends need to cross a bridge guarded by a river troll who insists on fighting one of you before he will let. All of you pass. Do you volunteer to fight? Attempt to confuse the troll into letting all three of you pass without fighting. Suggest that all three of you should fight without telling the troll. Or suggest drawing lots to decide which... Um... Let's try... I don't want to volunteer. No, I don't volunteer for nothing. Um... I'll try attempt to confuse the troll. Would you rather be liked, trusted, 
feared, eva- envy, oh, envied, um, in- inti- intimidated, or praised. Hmm. I don't really, some of these I don't really care about, but I would rather be trusted. Trusted people get all the good things. I'll just let you know. Once every century, a flutter by bush produces flowers that attempt their adapt their scent to attract unwar- the unwary. If it lured you, would you smell it? Oh, I'm sorry. Would you smell of the sea, home, a cracked log fire, or fresh parchments? Hmm. Um. Either the sea or the uh, crack the crackling log of fire. Ooh, it's a tough choice. Let's let's go with the fire because I'm never I don't really smell the sea that much in the fire I'm used to, but the bonfires and all that. Left or right? Of course you gotta be right. All right, let's see what my house is. Ravenclaw, all right. I was having either doubts on me either being Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff. And it also has my co- also has my colors. Um, fellow Ravenclaws have been sorted into this wise Hogwarts house today. Fellow Ravenclaws are Luna Longgood, Gregory Longheart, and Flu Flu Fluis Flintwick. I know, yeah, I know all these people. I've seen all the Harry Potter ones. Are you guys fans of Harry Potter? I'm more of a fan of Fantastic Beasts. Um, a message from your prefect. Um, congratulations, I'm Perfect Robert Hilliard, and I am delighted to welcome you into Ravenclaw House. Our embedded is the eagle, or oh, our emblem is the eagle, which soars where others cannot climb. Our house colors are blue and bronze, and our common room is found at the top of Ravenclaw Tower, behind the door of an enchanted knocker. <laughs> um, the anchored window set is a wall of our clear commons. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. So, we are Ravenclaw in Hogwarts Legacy. Let's... This is pretty cool. Um, let's try our Patronus now. Oh, something's happening. The Patronus is a kind of positive force of protection, a very kind of the Dementor feeds upon. Hope, happiness, and desire to survive. Alright, I know I gotta think of a good memory, so I'm gonna do it right now. Hang on, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of a good memory. Okay, I think I got it. Let's try it. I love this music, by the way. Yes, really. Relax and think of a happy memory. I'm thinking. Uh, rain. Uh, sweet. Um. Uh, stone? Oh, there. I saw something. I can do it almost there. Uh, lost. 
Okay, one more question. Um... I don't know. Listen. Ah, it took too long. Love, trust, hope. Uh, let's go hope. Is it here? I see some light. And click release Matronus. Oh, here it is. Oh, sh! I got a wolf. Wow, that matches my profile too. Oh my god, that is that is ironic. Oh, wow. Now I heard they're not going to do Patronuses in this game, but I really hope they do in like a DLC or something. I've got a wolf Patronus. That is ironic. Wow. <laughs> Wolf Patronus. Um, I'll do all that. And I'll do that not in this video. Alright. Um, now it's time to do my wand. Time to go to Ollivander's. Okay. Um, I... I guess I'm average height, I should say. My eyes are brown. I was born on an even day. I pride myself in my um kind of no, wait. Let's do res resilience. Yes, let's do that one. Uh, traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea, right towards the castle, or head towards the forest? Um, let's go ahead towards the forest. Do you fear fire, darkness, isolation, heights, or small spaces? Um... I'd probably say heights. I don't know. I'm just... I'd say heights. I'm not really that fearful of isolation. Um, this is, oh, this is the last question. Um, in a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? A silver dagger, an ornated mirror, a glittering jewel, a bound scroll, golden key, a dusty bottle, or a black glove? Oof. I would choose the dusty bottle, but it might just be a dusty bottle. It might try to trick me, you know? I don't know. Um. Glittering. Ooh, this is hard. Uh. Let's go with a bound scroll. Okay, what's my wand? Rowan wood with a unicorn horn with unicorn core a ten and three fourths in rigid flexibility. Ooh. Okay, Rowan wood. Rowan wood has always been much favored for wands because it is reputed to be the most pr protective than any other. And in my existence, rather all manners of defense and shards, especially strong and difficult to break. It is commonly stated that no dark witch or wizard ever n owned a Rowan wand, and I cannot recall a single instance where one of my own Rowan wands has gone on to be a evil, to do evil in the world. Ronan, Ronan, Rowan is most happily placed with a clear-headed and pure-hearted, but it its reputation for vigor all. Not to be fooled anymore. These ones are the equal, equal of any, often and and better, and frequently outperform others in duels. Cool. 
So what does it say about unicorn core? Unicorn hair. Oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't a. Co it wasn't the horn. It was the hair. Unicorn hair generally produces the most consistent magic and at least subject to fluctuations and blockages. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Wands with unicorn cores are generally the most difficult to turn into dark wizards. Okay, so this is good because I will be able to, and I know this from a fact, will be able to use the three un unfor unforgettable curses. Like Avacadaver. I really hope that I want to use that. Um, what else? Uh, they are the most faithful of all ones and usually remain strongly attached to their first owner. Irrespective and the wheeler, he or she is an accomplished witch wizard. Minor disadvantages of a unicorn hair are that they do not make the most powerful ones. Although the wand would may compensate. Oh, that might work. You know, I got Roan Wood. That's pretty good, I think. Um, and that they will prone to melancholy if it's it's simultaneously maintained, meaning that the hair may die or need replacing. Okay. Um. I don't know if that makes any difference, but I guess that's long wood. Rigid flexibility. Um, I guess that don't matter either. So, uh, I guess that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to see you all uh, February 10th. That's when the game comes out. Um, I will be streaming it first on Twitch, so I hope you see me, hope you like to see me on Twitch too, and then I'll probably edit it down for YouTube and all that, but I hope you guys enjoyed, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, I hope to see you next time.